The echoes of gunshots, the screams for help, this chilling scene as SWAT members barged into a high school classroom to end a tense hostage situation was an eerie reminder of what first responders have to endure. Either SWAT team to come get us. The situation or... though was staged. The gunmen were actors. The SWAT members, however, were not. It was all part of a two week course for tactical medicine training in Sacramento. This training that we've been providing now for uh, 21 years has undoubtedly saved officers' lives. We have numerous documented cases of uh, officers who've been shot, who have had severe gunshot wounds, uh, have been bleeding to death. Sorry. Measures were taken immediately by tactical medics and officers we've trained uh, to stop the bleeding and get these officers to the hospital and save lives. Try to evacuate some of that. This 80 hour course is designed to prepare and train pre hospital care responders to provide medical care for California's law enforcement special operations teams. Get it going, get it going. Students must be prepared for anything. She's been hit multiple times in the chest. Gunshot wounds, heart attacks, and stab wounds. The scenarios are endless. This course will give them the basics, the fundamentals of everything that they, they might encounter that's life-threatening. Of course, in the tactical environment, we're always concerned about penetrating trauma. That's the number one concern, is that the officers might be shot uh, and need uh, immediate on-scene medical care. Tucked away here in this classroom at McClellan Park, these first responders are learning life-saving measures. The tools and techniques learned in this two-week course could save the life of one of their own. These medics learn a unique skill set. Don't take your eyes off. Me. With a wide range of hands-on training, from bandaging to airway management to surgical airways, all to prepare for scenarios such as terror attacks, disasters, and SWAT team situations. Unless ordered to treat a civilian or bystander, tactical medics are specifically trained to care for those in their unit. We work with Riverside Police Department SWAT team, so getting to know the tactics that they do on their level and then having us incorporate all the medical stuff that we do for them is actually, it's like um, peanut butter and jelly, man. You put it together, it's awesome. Law enforcement, fire, and EMS all train together in this course, split between classroom lectures and scenario-based training. There is a final exam and a graduation ceremony. The next time they put on their uniform, they'll be responsible for saving the life of one of their own. So they'll have to apply all these skills while in their tactical gear and their uniform under the distress of fire and, and darkness and all the other types of issues that would occur during these types of situations. This course has trained hundreds of medical professionals serving on tactical teams throughout the nation. It was originally developed through collaboration with California's Commission on Peace Officer Standards and Training, Emergency Medical Services Authority, and the Governor's Office of Emergency Services. If you'd like to learn about other courses in officer safety and field tactics, visit the California Specialized Training Institute at csti.org or visit caloes.ca.gov.